Next question is from Jackie 18. Is there evidence to suggest that eating more meals more frequently throughout the day is better for weight loss than two meals with the same amount of quality calories? There's okay. So here's a deal with this mm. now. Now we've been told for a long time uh, in in popular fitness culture that eating small meals uh, was superior, right? So if you eat this, this was the the story at least or mm. the narrative. If you eat small meals, it stokes your metabolism throughout the day. It feeds your muscles amino acids throughout the day. Um, therefore, it's better for burning fat, building muscle. So you need to eat small meals throughout the day. Okay. Is there evidence to support this? Hardly any to zero. The, the reality is the thing you should pay attention to, the thing that should dictate whether or not you eat small meals or you eat fewer and larger meals should be based on how you feel. Personal All, preference. That's the most important thing. Now, the reason why this started was because bodybuilders who are eating shit tons of calories, you're eating 5,000 calories a day, you're not going to do that in two meals. Yeah. You're going to eat five meals. It just makes more sense. And then supplement companies got their hands on this and said, oh, what a great way to sell meal replacement bars and powders because mm -hmm. if I sell the average person that they need to eat five meals a day, yeah. they're going to eat breakfast, lunch, and dinner, or maybe just lunch and dinner. It's difficult to prep all those ahead of time, and then so you get other companies, you know, the six-pack yeah. bags yeah. and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. But, I mean, that's that's something that's been crammed in, in almost, like, everybody's head in terms of, like, that's the healthiest way to approach it. But, honestly, it makes a lot more sense for a bodybuilder who's trying to get more calories in because big, huge meals, uh, you know, that's pretty difficult to digest. Absolutely. Well, this myth originally came came from the whole thermogenic effect from the yeah, calories, which is which is the same, right? So if you eat a 4,000 cal two meals that uh, total up to 4,000, 2,000, 2,000 calories, you get this massive thermogenic effect, which is the same as if you mm. take those 4,000 calories and you spread it over four meals or six meals. Right, right. So they're just smaller thermogenic effects. So yeah, it's, the net thermic effect is the same. Is the same. Right. So it doesn't really matter. Where I see a lot of value in this and where I would have clients do this all the time was actually just to teach them portion control. It, it, you know, you do a two massive meals. Mm. It's really hard to kind of get an idea of like what six ounces this is, what twelve ounce of that is, yeah. is how many calories is this really? Where if I had if I had clients and I say, okay, your total calories is twenty eight hundred calories we get to eat, and I divide that up over five or six meals, they see these little small portions and get an idea of like where their meal, what their meal size should kind of look like. I, and and you just kind of teach good behaviors that way. That I liked it for that. Or to your point, you guys bring up with the bodybuilders, is yeah. When I was eating five thousand calories, yeah, good luck eating that in two meals, mm -hmm. especially if you're eating whole foods. Just not happening. So for those reasons, it makes sense. At the end of the day, it's whatever you're most consistent with. That's so it. if you do better with prepping five or six meals, and that you like to just kind of graze all day with mm -hmm. small meals, versus because here's the thing that there, I also like about that too. You never get really, really hungry. And what I have found when clients get really hungry, the cravings set in and you're more likely to make bad choices. I mean, I don't know about you guys, but when I have a long day here and, you know, I go like a, you know, and I'm, you know, unintentionally intermittent fasting and it's 12 hours I've eaten. Boy, everything sounds yeah. good. <laughs> I'm driving home from work and, I, and I'm easily influenced in. You know, Katrina's calling me. What do we want to do for dinner? And I'm like, I haven't eaten all day. I'll have whatever you right, want to have. Right. Versus if I had already had three, four meals, they were balanced and everything like that. Uh, I'm not starving. Like, oh, we'll wait and then I'll have another one of my meals. So that's another reason why I like the small meals. And that's that's more of the mental discipline. Yeah, and again, it's I, I've had clients that do far better with fewer meals. It mm -hmm. actually helps them eat less calories and they're busy. And when they're working, it's not that big of a deal. I've had clients like what Adam's saying where they prefer right. to eat every few hours and have a meal. Personal preference, 100% should dictate this for you. How do you, and for me, for example, I'll give you an example. Eating small meals throughout the day doesn't work with my gut. It just doesn't work well with my gut health. Mm -hmm. I do far better having long breaks in between meals, reduces inflammation Same. in my gut, helps me with digestion. And I just feel a lot better doing it that way. But I know people who are the opposite. I know people who are like, man, I can't eat one big meal. It hurts my stomach. I'm doing better with smaller meals. Personal preference should dictate this. There is no real you know, significant advantage uh, one way or the other, except for the extremes. Like, obviously, you don't want to eat like once every other day or, you know, you don't eat 10 times in a day. But within reason, doesn't make a big difference. Really just follow your what works best for you, what makes you feel the best.